getting a plant down as they just rush in through bat, wall it off, and now pull back for the post plants. Team Liquid going to need to do a lot to battle against this, having already used up that knife. Post plant utility is going to be online to work with, Tom, and, well, this is going to buy them a lot of time on the vitality side. already becoming a little bit awkward but actually the snake bite coming through from cryptics will at least be able to what is that crosshair get that out of my face link <laughs> get rid of that now, i saw a, like tweets going around about crosshairs and like things he would be using that is one of the most disgusting things i've ever seen in my life and you know what he got killed for it so i'm almost glad with that one soul cast yumpy they're doing the damage Ooh. though but the time has been ticking for an awful long time and sender and shalabi have gone through there is nothing that kept it online he can be pop flashing. He can be suppressing people. I don't really want to see him on that front line with ulti pop. So I'm curious to see how things go. And they've actually got a bunch of info from the knife he just threw out. Suppressing some players and the allowing again. the rotates to come in. But, the oh my god, the plant gets completely destroyed. We said uh, when you've got pistols, you can't really break the walls. But it's very different when you've got three rifles ready to spray away. And they are just dominating Vitality as they attempt to make it out of this choke point. With the spike down in the open. Brown's pretty much Ooh. done. Yeah, Bram's trying to get across just to make sure he at least has a rifle in this fight. And if anything, it might just be worth saving into the next round. But Sender, he, he's going to want to die. Like, there's not really left. anything worth saving here. He'll have enough money to buy into the next round anyway. So, but Bram's, as said, holding on to the rifle would be... My MP. Good spot. He's going to win the physically ill with how many kills they were able to get with this gun. Well, Tom, I have to say, you know, with the judge in hand on defensive side, hookah holds are, are nigh impossible to get through. Solk is showing off, but not getting anything. I was going to say, you know, this is the sky that we've been ranting and raving about, but he is shut down. And this is a plan for vitality in a fork out of their comfort zone for the most part. It's almost disrespectful to the player, you know? These guys have got a lot of depth to them. I don't think there's any top tier professional player in the top 10 of EU that, that sits back and goes, I play Jet, I play Prim, mm. I cannot play anything. That top four spot. So I know Sliggy's been on them for sure, but again, they're avoiding that judge completely from Link until the very late round when we're going to see Sander lurk through here. Solkus opens this one up, but leaves Scream in a position. Scream's looking good these oh, days. Oh, so good. And he's going to be taken down right away, and now the site is theirs. This is a disaster for Team Liquid, and a very polished attack from Vitality. Yeah, they're, they're looking really good. They're trading on point, entries working out as well, and even using a little bait res. <laughs> and, and the you have to fire that showstopper or it is going to be cancelled out completely. Now, with that counter underway, Vitality lose a lot of the push that they wanted, but they've seized hook control for what feels like the first time, and I think Link is going to be upset that he didn't have that judge in there that he has in every other round. The push through the smoke, not quite going according to plan. Scream is waiting and taking them down. Vitality have only Sender, the previous lurk and slow player for the post plans, now in a 1v4. A huge clutch needed to pull this one off, or Liquid will be seeing two on the board and you can see these players grouped up inside of hookah they've got the spike on the floor they know sender is on his way and scream is primed and ready to pop that 4k five space it's a good call however vitality they're just gonna try and go in the other direction i don't really blame them and then the thing is a lot of teams now have started to almost counter that counter of the vipers pit by pushing through it so Liquid can't actually dedicate other players over, and it's going to be on to Solkas here, who's playing a pretty audacious angle. He's going to try and break the wall. They're doing this strat again, Mitch, and now they have their own Vipers pit to cover it off. This could be a little bit dangerous, man. I mean, when you're running into those Vipers pits, <laughs> you're losing all your HP right away, and no amount of suppression can really make up for it. Vitality have got the edge. A flash through the smoke is good for someone holding close. Ooh. Did he just get wall banged? Yes, he did. Oh my, and the ultimate's now oh, gone down. This is so Hard ratty. post plant commitment. <laughs> this is disgusting to play against. Solkus, though, catches Sender off. The time? 
isn't too far gone just yet. If they can actually manage to lock them out, they've got it. But there's the orbital strike just in time. That might just have saved the round with Shalafi, the last player alive. He's holding off inside a bat. The blast back doesn't oh, work. Got it. They can't get there in time. A wallbang headshot delivered, but it's not enough. Team. <laughs> But don't oh, look at this. Link finally has the opportunity to use this judge. They've spotted it and they are out of there real quick. You see that immediate reaction, eh? Chilapi's going to be happy that his blast pack worked that time. Link actually avoids any damage from all of this utility that's flying his way. And Yampi picks up another opening. This is Liquid looking a lot better in the early rounds, even finding some upgrades on weapons. Vitality need an answer now. Yeah, this was a round where financially they, they had to take a risk. They had to play more aggressively. I have to say I'm really loving the Poison Cloud through the TP. Because it, right. it yep. not only it weakens the players as they push into the judge. So if there was any chance of survival, they're now even more screwed than they already <laughs> were. And it seems like getting the openers, well, now they're just picking them apart. A much more passive gameplay after winning those duels. Labby, though, just... I don't know. I, I get those feelings that at any moment he could just explode onto the server. And after the last round, who knows? This time, not to be. Oh, that's so unlucky. I did enjoy you saying a much more passive play. And I think the second... Yeah, they, they pinged so many players. Like, they've got so much information ability now with the combination of Sova, Sky, and of course KO that they pinged two players outside of the site straight away. And realistically, you have an idea that probably someone missed it. It's Link. This is bold. He's going to go straight through. Shilabi's just waiting on the other side. Just like, I don't think that's going to work, bud. <laughs> An easy kill for him, doubling up the fact that they've already got the opener. This round's looking a little bit more rough for Team Liquid. Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, the earlier round fights have, have been the downfall uh, for at least the first couple that we saw Vitality get on the board. Here, Cryptix is able to fight back and holding off against this sort of fake A aggression. He's burning up some of his utility. Could definitely come to play later on. Yampi's dead. He's wishing he was on the jet right now, able to dash out of that slow, naded shot. There was nothing that didn't hit him right there. I, I mm -hmm. think it's... I think it's Brams was keeping an eye on this, but now the push, he's expecting it, but it doesn't matter. Link has got the timing perfect. He uses his own orbital strike to clear the players in front of him. And now just two players on Vitality remain. This is such a sick adaptation. Yeah, ratty gameplay is exa exactly what you want to see. Loki's left all alone in a 1v4. He's made it to Elbow. The problem is they know he's there. And they're more than capable of taking him down. Six to five. We're looking... Angle. They've gone back to this long play, which has been fairly successful. And they've caught out Cryptics, which... Well, that's a hell of a lot of utility just gone within a second. Luckily... It's ridiculous. He, he can't see half the screen. <gasps> the wall up. I don't know if Shalapi was quite expecting that. He seemed caught off guard as he went up above. Loki able to take down Link. It buys them a chance. A small opportunity. Blinded in the corner. Oh, and he's even hit by the squids. Good night. And sweet dream spike on the floor and it's left to brams to clutch it six to vitality are right oh, no. behind them oh no never mind it's gonna be link who's dead instead <laughs> he walks back around the corner and spots the whole vitality squad yumpy still in play but they knew he was here they saw him walk there just moments ago sender in a good position but now they can actually just take troll of the defender spawn the thing is they won't actually know this expecting the full squad to come in from behind the information garnered by screen however might give them a little bit more knowing there's still two players on long loki getting it and actually he's just gonna tap the defuse try and bait them into position it's awkward in fact he doesn't even get the game before they would be done so man hungry, is man. a man is a moron don't play matchmaking <laughs> with hey we won that game tom so let's not Let's not be toxic about uh, that it, was right? probably a Harry hard carry. That's basically what we've learned. Yeah, Harry got 35 kills, but that doesn't matter. We won the game. That's <laughs> <laughs> And without the sausage rolls, it might have been different. You never know. Pushing out onto the site, Team Liquid are surprisingly going into B and blitzing in at that, giving the opportunities for these Spectres to tear them apart. Orbital Strike is committed, not finding anything. And oh, Liquid getting pushed out here. Cryptics hadn't got a chance. Yeah, they definitely do. And oh, there it is right off the bat. Jampy is able to get one. A second okay. follow through on from the bathroom. The mid guys going to be pushing through Viper utility, which certainly isn't the easiest. In goes the knife to stop it. But Cryptics peaks before it's down. Scream able to trade. Shalak be on the site, creating distance using that Vandal. But Link, 8 HP and a second kill for him in this round. 
plant even to come through, and with Orbital Strike online, he can maybe play post plant, but Brams is pushing him quickly and connecting the shot with the Sheriff of... Is it ready and waiting on the B side? Shall I be heard everything behind? If they make the push through, he's just going to be waiting for them. Easy kills for him, and now the time really is ticking. This round has gone completely wrong for Liquid. And, well, if anything, holding on to the gun by, might be the best case because, realistically, there's no way they're winning this and Scream's even going to... Shalapi's even fixed his cam, so, I mean, everything's going their way. Oh, and, uh, my God. Back blinded himself. Well, the, the thing is, though, he's, he's actually dropped Scream. Like, it, it may still look like this is a four versus four, but then again, they walled oh, it off. Never God. mind. Scream's yeah. going to come and pushing down mid. This time, he spotted absolutely nothing, but if he can catch Link... This is going to be rough. Luckily for them, though, Link is going to win that duel. Oh, well, down goes Sender as well. So Liquid are just rolling over this site. Brams is trying to make a sneaky little oh, play, but they know he's been playing around Lamps. So I am, however, looking at that Viper's Pit. I'm interested to see how it's going to be used by Liquid. Oh, dear. Oh, that's dealing with a lot of damage. Yeah, be half and Tori. To start such an important round with Vitality holding on the back side. They're going, oh, that's such a good ultimate. The corner's cleared and Brams is down. One final pulse going to go out and that even tags up a couple yeah. of players as well. Loki and Sender getting hit by that and Sender finished off off the information Scream had to play with. That is an absolutely incredible ultimate from Yampi that has just pulled Liquid from the depths of despair really into an advantageous position with spike planted and the vipers pit to play around in the post plant i wonder if vac expects two players to be sitting this far back so deep within cryptic's actually gonna fall there this leaves scream alone he corrects his aim just quick enough to get away from the boom bot the flash perfect but it leaves both players behind the next to each other mid and now they're just defusing he's got an operator oh this is the God. worst gun for this sort of moment he needs to jump up Teed and while well, the remaining players Planted. just left behind. Now, Vac, he needs to get something at least here if they have a chance. Oh, indeed, but he won't. They'll be taken yeah, down man, right sure. away. And Team Liquid, okay, another on to Loki. They're looking very good to close this round out. The spike ticking away slowly, as are the numbers for Vitality. Either. So much utility just holding players back off the peak. Nowhere really to move. Sende is going to make a play through, though. And this time, the flash is perfect from back. They take three players down with the Spectres. And everything seems to have fallen apart. Just going to be two players remaining. Of course, it's going to be a switch up of weaponry. Actually, a Spectre picked up for Yumpy. He's going to try and hit them back with their own weaponry. And there is a long flank coming in. Vitality realizing, okay, let's sit passive. Let's not give them any of these jewels and look to try and surround them. Yumpy instead going to try and take the initiative. But he walks into the Marshal and now it's all on to Cryptics. What a nice shot from Loki as well. Cryptix has got the first, but now he's been spotted, and all they need to do is group up and not offer 1v1 oh, duels, no. which so far they have not done. Still offering 1v1 duels as Cryptix is now stuck in a corner. If he doesn't what? actually hit him, he's still alive, and the 1v1 oh. just about goes to shit. up. You know, they, I don't know why he was still jumping. That was that was ludicrous from Brahms to just bait them, bait them into that, but Yambi gets him eventually, gets a sweet revenge plan can be found, and well, I'm not gonna, first of all, I want to point out that Scream is not the first man in, right? He's popped his ultimate, but he's letting Yambi enter. He's making sure there's no utility for the enemies to play around. Link with a quick 180 catches back. Gorgeous stuff, and Liquid here really just playing textbook Valorant when it comes down to this, holding all their angles for these guys to push back in, making sure that they're harassing any map control that's being attempted, and Vitality have no way back in, really, with the exception of some incredible It's like Vitality have almost given Liquid a way back in. As said at the beginning, they've now won both pistols got off to what a 5-1 start or something in both halves so if this now goes the way of liquid you almost have to look at vitality and go play with seeker's gonna be popped orbital strike is available for link as well and i feel like it's gonna be put out very early on indeed over towards lamps and it catches back down goes brams they need a hero and they need one oh, now sender perfect. will not be it wall banged and hit by snake bite, but jalabi collects them through the smoke leaving it down to loki a one versus two but a res available as we said earlier he's going to slow it he's gonna pop that res but he needs to cover that player as they come back online the swing together scream does it flashes oh. there back six hp remaining he's hunting oh, it down and he gets it done that is the map losing most of his hp in the meantime 
and they're going to be able to close it. It's now Nade clearing. Person. I think this is quite scary, really. If you're Team Liquid, you've already been pushed out of heaven for the most part, and having to play super passive, but even despite the low HP, Yampi's able to pick up one. Yeah. A bold peak. Link stunned on the site. Now all the utility's going to be taken away, but without him actually peeking, just sitting at the back, him and Scream are holding down the line, something that Link has been excellent at, but when he's got Scream alongside him, they look almost invincible. It's left on to Shilabi. I almost feel bad for him. He's done so much damage, headshotting. That would be really weird. But hey, it's two to zero, and Team Liquid face off against a full buy. This is where Vitality get the opportunity to really deal some damage and get themselves on the board. Look at what they're up against, Tom. Four Spectres and a Sheriff. This should be, on paper, a pretty easy round for them, but oh my! So try and reclaim the spike, but there's a cam watching it anyway, so information's already going to be there. And he has a rifle. They're an out down below, Blood. rushing into these players in the spec. So the fact that the other rounds are the ones where they've got no kills is even more worrying. But that's a much better start. <laughs> Smoke. It would have been a risk, but there might have been reward. And with 20 so seconds good. left, Vitaly, you're going to have to just run at him and hope to take him down. Link is so strong Aww. in these positions. A 3k goes his way. Scream is taken down, though. I mean, I this is a plan pretty much secured. That. They're going to have to just stare at him. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? There we go. <laughs> Scream's been hitting the gym. It takes a little bit longer to take him out of the rounds now. You really do have to kick him while he's down. Still, this ends up as a 2v2 scenario. Jalabi going to take this close range angle. Teammate trying to spot into heaven. And Yumpy has been seen, but knowing that both players are in the site, he's actually going to be able to get very close up. Both double peaking. Shalabi's gone. It's left all onto Brams to try and turn the tide. One player incredibly low. The clock burning down, but Yumpy hits the final headshot. I'm sure the knife is going to be going through in just a second. It's going to catch so many different players, but they're still just looking to try and run through the smoke. Scream trying to watch onto the angle and he will eventually find the first kill. The stun coming out as well. It's so perfect. Nothing for Shilabi to do. And Yumpy just still trying to play around the edge of the smoke. But he is being pressured. Still takes one with him though. However, Brams has made this one more than possible. The Seeker gives him away. Not that the information wasn't already had. And he's trying to fake things up at the smoke. Situation from Loki and Sender inside of B main. The smoke went down and it seemed like they didn't really know what was happening. Yambi still going forward with this operator, oh, no. picking up every single player he sees. This is ridiculous. The frenzy reloaded. He still what? gets away with a fourth. One player remaining and Yampi's going for the oh. ace, connecting it seven to six. Allowing them to take all the they've space they want. Anywhere. And they've got the cam, the tripwire. This is just perfect. Team Liquid know exactly what's going on here. I don't know oh, if this is advanced preparation, but it looks like it's the same thing, right? Uh, oh. Give me those back. I mean, they were baiting, they, they were going to 180 the second he completed that. So I'm, I'm glad Yumpy didn't commit to it. I, I don't know. Somehow I still believe he would have got a kill at least. I pretty would have got all three with one bullet. Somehow this has gone wrong. As you said, like... The read was very good. It's just like that slight hole in the defense. One going down at least. Loki still causing them issues. He did the main reason that this round has slipped away from them. And now back. It's the timing almost perfect. No way. The main great counter utility. But look at Vitality's oh, response. Like they immediately move in through heaven. They push down to the site. Now Yampi is again going oh. to be isolated with this operator in hand. But still a double is found. Going out wider. Scream has already taken the pushing back. And they've got a double man set up inside of B main. This is a ridiculous round. Vitality making the perfect counter play and liquid play off loki getting some cheeky kills sneaking through scream though you don't want to give oh. this man the opportunities and then you ran into yampi <laughs> that's how that's how that one goes the turret up yampi's not even gonna bother he just waits wall bang he might just be one, one of the you know top 10 players in the world easily that's at the stage twice, twice. This is the second time that they've managed to wrap through heaven and get behind the player trying to hold outside B. I'm not quite sure how that's worked twice, because it's normally one of the positions that if you have given it up, you're very aware of it. But hey, Vitality finally pushing down on what is looking like a vulnerability for Liquid. And now in this retake, 
It's not looking too good. I'm not quite sure how they're going to be able to get back into this one. They've got no ultimates to play with. A very small amount of utility other than Yumpy, who, I I'm going to be honest, I don't really want to see him put away the operator to try and pull out any of that utility. So, unless, again, there's going to be some wide swings. I don't think there's anything there. And low It gets slightly deeper than some of the other knives that we've seen. Oh, oh it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter God. at all. What a good flash. Yampi just single-handedly entering on the defensive side. Three players down, Vitality. I got 40 seconds to try and... Spike All right, a. never mind. 10-2 half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got 30 seconds for Sander. Spike dropped up in heaven. Two players on the left. A site. He'd have to kill them lightning fast, get back into heaven, pick up that spike, get to site, plant it, and then win the 1v2 post plant. That might seem uh, unreasonable, and that's because it is. A B site defense as well, and, well, this time it was a low key. See you later, oh, mate. Peek yeah. through the smoke, caught out already. Shalabi, oh. he needs something here, and he's going to go down as well. It's with City for Vitality, and a pistol that's God, him God, being God. there is literally just to be as annoying as humanly possible. Leave the low HP player behind. He, he's low as well, he's 22 HP. Link just swings and takes down back. Oh, God. One down. Hey, there we go. <laughs> hey, we got there him. we go. Solgus is also 20. Cryptic's 38. This is definitely winnable for Vitality, but it's tough. There's players absolutely everywhere. They're fighting into two or three on every angle they push. They Look at the crossfire down below. Player Cryptic's down. ready to swing with Yampi and take that kill. Like alongside him as well. So if he was to fall, it would be a bit of a... <laughs> oh, no! Oh, that was the split second that you yeah. don't want to be <laughs> shooting the trip. Oh, roll it, roll on Breeze. Just roll it on. Like th this is just. Yeah, I like Breeze torture. a lot. I like I like Breeze a lot. I think Vitality have a much better shot there based on what we're seeing because this is not the team we just witnessed on the previous map. I mean, the fact that they went four rounds without a single kill, Tom, pretty much sums it up. Ooh, Solka's getting tickled, and he's the only player that can't be healed up now. Vulnerable to these stingers. No one's using the Lothar trick. You know, the the right-click triple burst? Oh, come on, Yampy. Leave him alone, for God's sake. I mean, if they get this round, if I tell you a force bot and it's flawless from Team left. Liquid, that is... Oh, God. Standing. I feel like I'm talking over wow. a funeral. This is, this is ridiculous. Yeah, especially after the last map, like, it was a close victory, back and forth rounds, Liquid fighting uphill to try and uh, bring it back because of Loki's position. No one's actually rotated off. They know they haven't come through mid. Vac is already going to pick off the first, and Brams' his corner is deadly as ever. It's not going to be checked, and the swing out grants him a couple of kills. Shilabi is there to close it as well, and Vitality have their lifeline. It's a win back in the sails, and I'll be honest, Mitch, I don't believe that they'll be able to bring this map back at all i'm wondering if we're gonna are we gonna get a pot flash there it is just trying to force him backwards even the stun afterwards so he can't run away scream looking to try and push around the corner might not expect him to still be so close but it doesn't matter he wins the duel anyway the clearance from solcast even bypasses the aftershock and leaving just two men standing to try and save vitality from what has been an embarrassing map but two versus three, low HP on two, it's doable. That's for damn sure. Plenty of utility. <laughs> We've seen what Yampi can do from this very same angle in the past. The smoke there, so if they dive off, he'll see them down below. And the spam is not actually landing anything. Yampi's good, just tucked in the corner. Oh, no. As they push out, look at that. He oh, you saw him. There we go. Third in spawn, ready for this kind of uh, push coming through. Again, it feels like Liquid are ready. Like, they're reading the strat book of Vitality a lot of the time in these early round setups. Oh, no. Where's the right clicks? Cryptic's not able to get away with anything. Shalafi comes in with a quick kill, but Liquid are bouncing back so damn quickly. The low HP on Sander, he didn't stand a chance. It's all on to Brams and with 10 HP while well, he goes little squids before they get towards you. I love the Viper Orb used to push up into mid. Now, Solkus is going to be dropped right away. The Vandal having a decent advantage when it comes to these kind of fights, but they've dashed past. They're on the side and they're overrunning it now, capable of just getting that plant down. Their Viper Wall covering the retreat as it will come back up online in a second. 
And this becomes quite difficult for Vitality to fight back into, especially with this Lurk play from Link. He is coming behind very slowly. I mean, this is off-ground timing. There's no way that you expect it at this point, and he's able to catch back completely off guard. Brams on the Cryptics at least gives them a chance, so a foothold back into this round, and oh, the wall completely saves Scream's life. At this point, it's all about running the clock down, and Team Liquid are doing a fantastic job of it. A great tag by Yam be followed up with the kill to defuse not even halfway as they rush around the side of the site and indeed stop it brams has no time left and oh, no ammo no. really yeah, played sure. uh, in previous teams also he's an absolute monster on jet and well speaking of jet see you later loki see you later sender link is popping off this is the this is their proper full buy round this is everything all the trimmings on the side of the meal they had everything they desired in this round and again they're just getting slapped Shalab, he's dead there's no way he survived he's got two hp he's blinded in the corner he's stuck and he's caught but somehow mitch this is a two on two yeah it has flipped into vitality's Rats? favor quite quickly Link is the only one left alive, and he's creeping up behind. His flanks oh, have been on point. He found the double earlier on, but now two more sit in front of him, and Brams is staring right. He's actually going to... He could get caught here. If he gets tagged up, he's screwed. Oh, that shock dart right on to Sander. Does a lot of damage, but not as much. They do have a Viper's Pip. It's whether or not they'd want to commit it here. And actually, the look back could give an angle. Never mind. Loki connects the shot. Second player dropped as well. And now it's left all on to Link, who is at least going to make things a little bit more expensive. But with still two players left. The attacking side a lot. Oh, dear. Is this about to be the counter to what we just saw for Soka? Never mind. Vat comes out of the drone and then still manages to find the kill on to Yumpy. Seemingly having the sixth sense that somebody was around the corner and even even tapping up Scream as well. This is starting to fall apart and that was the spy. Uh, not great. I mean, they had two players going through uh -oh. tubes, so I don't mind sending the spike there, but peeking out All afterwards, right. uh, it's a death sentence and a flaw. He's actually completely avoided the Hunter's Fury. The flank from Brahms oh, isn't going to be successful. This time, they're quite conscious of it. And Shalabi can't really do anything. They have to wait. The tag actually on to one and a second as well. Good follow-up. Shalabi shut down and scream. The one-tap machine delivers the bullet to put Loki in a 1v4. Vitality have had a couple of good rounds, but Liquid are back to play. And even with Yampi falling, he's still got three more to Look deal with. It just feels undoable. Yeah, the link, Link's position should basically end the round. I, he's taken a very long route to get there, but this will... Ah! Oh, no! Okay, he was under pressure, though, in fairness. He didn't expect to be that quickly, and he's found the information for Brahms, but sadly, Solkus has wallbanged the man and headshot him through the doors. Link is still shutting down mid. The blade storm at least connects to him, but now they've got to fight back. Oh, they've already used their drone. They've used it way too early. It's not going to clear out the Viper ult. Now they've got to go in dry. Oh, but the timing is so good. Still not going to be found. And now Cryptics can just fade back in oh. to an unknown angle. One I don't know how left. you fight in here. It's all he needs. Just one. Never mind. <laughs> Yumpy with the double flank. So, yeah. Round aggression. And it has been very successful so far. But this time, they're just going to be pulling back a little bit. Unfortunately. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the squids almost blocked the vision of the fact that Brams was there. He's popped the Empress in this round as well, so just trying to put his team on his back might not be needed. Sender holding off. He's just like, you know what? I don't really fancy peeking that one. Just going to try and fade back, but Scream has already crossed into the site, and they're still ready, waiting, and watching for any sort of peek to be made. However, Sender doesn't need to do it. They are in a 5 versus 3 retake. He does not need to overface here. However... Rams is going to fall on the flank. Scream, actually, with re-aggression. And just as quickly as they get the advantage back, Shalabi puts them in the ground. How do you fight up against Scream in this situation? There's three players, but we've seen him win them before. The first goes his way to flank. Coming around. Oh, I almost thought that did. I, I thought that... Wrong side with Viper, so... If, if, if Vitality end up with like five or six rounds here, they've done a pretty damn good job well, considering this is... Oh, oh my no. God. 
This is such an important round. If Vitality win, it's an eco from Team Liquid going into the final with zero ultimates to play with as well at this stage. And that double opening, that collateral from Loki puts Team Liquid on the back foot, even with the trade onto Shalakbi. That will be Seekers taken out at least, making it slightly easier in this round. And actually, you can already see it. Seekers would have been popped probably at this point, or at least a deep flash to confirm there's still players there. Instead, Vitality now have to commit to a full retake on B. But the wall that they have allows them to do that. This wall is perfect for getting back into the B site, and so they're content to stick with a four-man A-hold, or at least close to, with mid obviously being a big consideration. And as Team Liquid go out onto this site, oh my, that is unreasonable. Well, very unlucky for Vitality, I suppose the yin and yang of the collateral they found to start it, that now they're on even numbers as they try to fight back in. Zero information on where these players are, and as Sender comes up above that wood, he will be spotted and taken down. The trade is very quick to come in, but a good crossfire on the players on site. Even able to see Loki coming through the wall, Vac is tagged up by every piece of utility remaining, and a one versus two. This is basically for a 6-6 six, six half. Big pressure on Vac, but it's taken off him quickly. The majority of rounds is left only a pistol. You, you sort of mentioned how integral that it was for Liquid. It seemed like it was the same and already a fast push in, the dash distraction coming out from Scream, giving space to the rest of his players. Loki now trying his best to make some sort of play. Oh my <laughs> it's god! Very awkward and he's not gonna win the duel. That was a beautiful oh. attempt. That was absolutely beautiful attempt. I enjoyed every second of that Loki. <laughs> Making a tunnel towards him and then dashing out of the way. God, if that was an operator, he got that kill as free as could be. Feel bad for him. Shalapi coming around the corner is caught by Yampi, and Team Liquid looks set to take this across the line with eight on the board. This has been an incredible half for them on the attacking side. A four to zero lead certainly propped them up to the position that they're currently in, but oh my okay. God, Rams. What was that shot? Oh, they tagged a few up. It's not going to land any kills, though. Team Liquid are falling apart at the seams in this pistol round. Screams Dash doesn't really get him very far, but that might be to his advantage. Inside the smoke, an awkward fight ensues out of ammo, but the right click comes in for Vac. It's going to be Yampi to clutch it all oh, out in a quick double. There's only one left. A 1v1 from nowhere, and Yampi comes within. These things happen, but it's the cost of it. How did Brams expect that? Come on. After the last round, they still had a decent amount already, but... This will set them up at least for a couple of rebuys. And you know what, Rams? He's going to just farm up those kills. I am enjoying thoroughly him playing this Rainer. It seems to just be a comfort pick for sure. But it means that he's able to almost just be that initiator, that aggressive player pushing into the site, taking a lot of those early fights and just making it so that it doesn't even come down to retakes anymore because they have to get through him to get to the retake. And so far, Liquid haven't been able to do that. Well, this has been a damn and freebie, and if it's Brams, that would be quite valuable. There he goes, straight out of the round. Any extra damage? Great hairdo as, as, um, as Jet does. He could do the little thing down the side, you know? And then it will be perfect. Maybe dye his hair white, do a little cosplay. I don't know. But for now... Hello, they are. It's a four versus three, but heals are coming in. Shalakbi is able to heal up Sender and put them into a pretty reasonable position. But I have to feel like for Vitality, they have somewhat of an advantage if they take down Scream because then that's an isolated B player. Problem is taking down Scream ain't that easy. Now he's dashing away back on site and ready to help with stopping this push. Cryptics, so much utility just to make these ratty angles so hard to clear. And in fact, he's even going to get rid of Shilabi as well. Scream there to support. And that's a much terrible decision making, really. Like, uh, I feel like they could have done that so much better. Oh, that dash Loki taking damage, but he's made it to the site. Cryptics wants to try and deal with him now, playing inside the jet smokes, but doesn't want to overextend too much. That's Loki down the spray from Cryptics. Okay. Catches a second after being tagged up. And oh my, screams delivering headshots through walls or just straight up. Sanders got it all to do in a clutch situation, and well, Scream's staring right. That's been the issue, especially with that B-side, and it's only going to get worse because now he's put down the Viper's Pit just to go, all right, come my way. All right, see you later, Loki. Goodbye. It almost feels like in the previous round and in the start of this that Vitality are eco, you know? It's like, I know they had rivals. 
I saw the rifles in their hands, but it doesn't feel like Finish. they had rifles in their hands. Shalapi's here to change that perception, though. Link still hasn't been detected up close, and now he's ready to play into his cage. The catch back off guard. The spray is decent, One but as he's fall... Oh, no! <laughs> He only tagged up back for about half, and then in comes the shock dart to finish. A few questions. Now, I said it's situational. This is an opportunity, but out of all the players to tag, the Jets always going to be the worst. The easiest to try and escape. Rams needs to play, and instead it's Link. He goes straight through his own cage to find two openers. 30 seconds now for the move to be made, and Scream still alive and kicking. And well, they're investing a lot into this one to try and get some space, but Centaur is getting owned. One kill is all he will get. Sight. Getting the plans, but still all of Team Liquid to deal with. They're, they're now aware. Like, this push that they've had through Tube from the defenders has been something they've done so regularly that Sender is watching and Vac is actually just around the corner to support him. So they are not allowing anybody to come in behind. The only man really deep within the site is going to be Loki. And they do actually have two players close just outside. The timing though is not great. Loki gets forced out of the angle. Link is going to wrap around. Do they expect the second player though? No, they don't. Eventually though, the trade's coming back through. Yampi with another shot. Oh, they're going to feel good. It. That's what puts a smile on your face, so honestly, moments like that, those clutches, that's what gets you going, hey, we can do this, boys. It gets you roiled up, riled up, and let's see if they're going <laughs> to... Liquid have got a pretty comfortable spot to play from, but Vitality have made no real aggressive presence. I mean, this is a stalled play, hoping that Liquid get aggressive in themselves, and so far, Tom, that hasn't happened, so eventually, they're going to need to make that push, and there's still a bunch of utility there for Team Liquid to play with. Perhaps this time there is Vaz well, going to say the Empress, but he was quickly dethroned. Link has cut off the legs of their mid play, and it leaves it down to just all the players trying to push through the choke on B. Scream is eventually going to get one, but they haven't actually cleared this close angle. The smoke fading, though, gives an opportunity, and now Scream is dashed into the open. He has to be dead here. How is he getting a kill? How is he still alive? Kill the man. He's in the open, just flying around, floating past the site, and he still can.